Good evening and welcome to the programme with me, Louisa Preston. The row over the Metropolitan Police's quarter of a million pound water cannon has intensified. Last week, the Home Secretary, Theresa May, decided the German-made vehicles couldn't be used during riots because they weren't safe and had mechanical faults. Today, the Met said all the faults were fixed and the Deputy Mayor for Policing defended the cost of the now redundant machines amid a backlash from City Hall politicians. Catherine Carpenter has the story. Well, Catherine joins me now. So what exactly happens to these water cannon now? Catherine, thanks very much for that. Lots more to come this evening, including... The capital's growing population is placing more and more pressure on our secondary schools, which, according to one politician, could be disastrous for pupils. The squeeze on places has seen local authorities call on the government for more funding. Latest figures show that in the next five years there's going to be a 35,000 shortfall. The government say London has seen £2 billion invested in new school places, as Yvonne Hall reports. More than 70 firefighters have tackled a blaze at... A man from Chelmsford who challenged a parking fine imposed by a private car park operator has taken his legal battle to the Supreme Court today. Two months ago, Varsha Mashuri from Hendon was killed, along with her instructor, when her parachute became caught in the aircraft they were jumping from, causing it to crash. The company she booked with claimed her death in Mexico was a tragic accident, but her brothers are now calling for tighter regulations. Shishal Palmer reports. Still to come this evening. Hashtag Save Dippy was a massive campaign on social media back in January when the Natural History Museum announced it was to move the skeleton that's graced the museum entrance for 35 years. Despite the public uproar, the museum is going ahead and replacing the Diplodocus with a blue whale. But they're now looking to send Dippy on tour. Now, at the age of 80, most people are slowing down rather than breaking sporting records. Not so for Warwick Dixon from Dartford, who's been throwing the hammer for more than 60 years and has just broken the British record in his age group. Ian Palmer has been to meet him. Fantastic. Now, the colour purple catapulted Cynthia Revo to theatre stardom, and now the South London actress has landed a role on Broadway, starring alongside Jennifer Hudson. But before she treads the boards in New York, she's in the lead role of a new London musical. Our entertainment correspondent, Brenda Manis has caught up with her. Right, well, let's get a check on the weather now with Sarah Thornton. And Sarah, it was lovely today. Are yeah, we going to see the same tomorrow or not? Not quite as lovely tomorrow, perhaps, but yes. It Sounds good, Sarah. Thanks very much. The main headlines tonight. Well, that's it. I'll be back later during the 10 o'clock news. But for now, from everyone on the team, have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.